Lots of people use cameras to capture a wondrous moment in time, to seal it as a visual memory, but cameras capture a lot of other things too. Hidden cameras, surveillance or security cameras, and found footage seem to have the creepiest of all stuff. Hi, I'm Abby, and I scoured the internet for top 10 scariest camera footage you should just never watch. These range from scary and possibly staged to unfortunate realities caught on tape, and all of them gave me the chills, so please keep on watching so my pain is of some sort of use. <laughs> Thank you. Starting off at number 10, we have a serial arsonist on found tape. In this video, we hear creepy whispers as the camera points towards a house enveloped in flames. This happened in a town plagued by a series of arson fires that they had no explanation for until a farmer came across a videotape with this footage. You can hear the person behind the camera whispering, look at it, in a devilish voice. Also, you can hear them say, take a look at that, and have labored breathing. It was found out that the perpetrators were teenagers. The pyromaniacs had more tapes that chronicled the news headlines of all of their arsons, plus some other footage of them dressing up as werewolves or vampires. They committed over 60 arsons. All in all, it's creepy not only that they were being serial arsonists, but that they caught it on tape and it was found. So watch at your own risk. Next at number 9 we have a couple drowning. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it's two people dying on camera. If you would like to view it for yourself it will be linked below but it is age restricted due to the content and just you've been warned. A couple decided to go for a swim while celebrating their first anniversary while they were in Yemen in April of 2013. It starts out nice with the husband and wife having a nice little dip in shallow water and their ages are 22 and 18 respectively just for context. <laughs> you can see they're still having a nice moment entering the water, all that. But it all goes wrong as they either slip off the sand or the sand beneath them sinks suddenly. It's disturbing to watch as they try and fail to stay afloat. <laughs> If you take anything away from this one, it's to know what to do when someone is drowning. If you haven't been trained on how to save a drowning victim, then don't attempt to save them by entering the water because that puts you at risk. They are flailing and if they hit you or grab onto you, you could go under as well. On to number 8, we have a possible pharmacy ghost. This video allegedly shows a ghost wreaking havoc in an Egyptian pharmacy at 3am. The security camera catches two different screens flickering on and off to bright screens or static, and a chair moving without any visible cause, and the channel that posted it, Egyptune, says it's up to the viewer to decide if it's real or fake. And honestly, I was pretty convinced up until this part at about one minute where the splatters of some liquid or ghostly thing and then maybe blood appear and it's all splattered all over on the floor and then it cuts to the same dark substance being pressed onto a glass surface like handprints and no, I won't believe that and maybe because I don't want to, it's kind of creepy. Do you believe it? Let me know. But anyways, on to number seven, we have corrupted footage. This one is worth a watch of the whole thing if you're up for it. It was uploaded by Joaquin Baldwin on YouTube. He said in the description that he hadn't realized his cousin recorded over parts of his videotape, so when he got the tape converted to digital, it got all messed up. The audio and visual got blended and corrupted into what he calls a trans-dimensional hellish nightmare. <laughs> All the segments are like creepy and overlapped and definitely have that entire haunting feeling and it will definitely haunt my dreams tonight. Great. And next is a story that made it all the way to local news. On to number six, a ghost caught on nanny cam. Joshua Higgins was featured on WXYZ Detroit after claiming he saw a ghost on his daughter's nanny cam. It's clear on the camera that you can see something moving around the crib and heck, it's enough movement that the baby themselves gets up to check it out. Who 
knows if this was a particularly huge dust bunny that looked more phantom than normal or actually a spirit of some kind, but let's hope that if it is the latter, a spirit, it's an ancestor popping in to say hello because it's a baby. Babies are cute and innocent. They should stay that way. Hmm. And well, let's move on to number five, the scary warehouse. In this one, two men are in an empty warehouse taking a video and some photographs, but the man holding the camera continuously gets creeped out by how ominous their surroundings are. What seems to be scaring him the most is that a red door keeps opening and closing on its own. That door just fl- oh, me, Ray. Ray. Oh, I wasn't right here. <laughs> no, I'm not joking, Ray. The other man with him says it's just the wind, but with the door closed entirely, the wind doesn't seem like a complete explanation to me. Like the physics don't feel totally right. But anyways, they continue to explore the abandoned building with even the videographer's friend scaring him for a bit. But in the end, they are hearing more noises and keep getting scared until they hear one final thing that scares them away for good. The two drop the camera after this noise and run the heck out of there and honestly it gave me a little bit of a jump scare as well. If you're a little more, you know, good with jump scares, probably not for you, but for me, 100%. Every time. At number four, we have a creepy child sitting in the middle of the road. In the video, we hear two friends chatting until they round a bend and see this disturbing image. Here, it looks like someone decided to sit in the center of the road and is facing the direction of the car approaching. Okay, that's a bit scary. Yeah. That's a bit scary. That is very scary. That, that, that's, uh, uh. We hear one of the car's passengers say, oh, okay, that's a bit scary. And his butt is saying, yep, yep, and they back away and get the heck out of there. Like, we know these two would survive in a horror movie because they actually ran away from what looks creepy instead of, I don't know, deciding to help the person in the middle of the street, which was just looking at them creepily. That one was just creeping me out and look kind of like a horror movie. And the next one also kind of looks like a horror movie too. At number three, we have a couple being watched. Back in 2016, Jack Makercher and his girlfriend Jordan Barankis got into an argument when Barankis couldn't find her purse. But when they checked their camera footage to find answers, they were freaked out by what they saw. At 3.30 a.m. at night, a man let himself into their house through an unlocked door and stood watching them for a total of around 10 minutes, just standing there. Around this time, he must have also taken Brancus's purse. The nicknamed Creeper Ghost was also alleged to be behind other burglaries in the neighborhood. Now, I don't know about you, but I would lock my door if there were alleged burglaries in a neighborhood. So, thank goodness they had a security camera so they could figure out who this person was, but all in all, lock your doors, please. Number two is stalker footage. Before killing Lauren Giddings, Stephen McDaniel was stalking her. He was her next door neighbor and the two were also classmates. They had graduated and Giddings was going to move away. McDaniels decided to put a stop to that in an unfortunate way. These videos are from the night he killed her. The camera was attached to a six foot long wooden stick to be able to peer through her window. Have a look. see through the camera the open blinds to her room and eventually the alley beside her residence where McDaniel must have been standing. Hours later, he strangled her to death. McDaniel said this in a part of his plea deal where he wrote a one-page confession describing it all. He said that after killing her through strangling her, he dragged her to the bathtub and then he left. He wrote that he returned on the Sunday after to dismember her body with a hacksaw. This happened back in 2014 and McDaniels pleaded guilty to killing her, saying he would take it back if he could. But death isn't something you can take back and that's what makes these tapes haunting. This last one is the worst of them all. At number one is a tape found from the Jonestown Massacre. If you aren't familiar, the Jonestown Massacre is where the saying, don't drink the Kool-Aid comes from. While the saying is tossed around quite a bit now, kind of offhand, it has gruesome beginnings. Over 900 members of a cult called the People's Temple died in a mass murder-suicide on November 18, 1978. The cult was led by Jim Jones, who had a revolutionary suicide plan, which led to what is now one of the largest math deaths in American history. A fruit drink was laced with cyanide and either drank 
drank or shot via syringe into children's mouths and drank as the adults as well. Fewer than a hundred members of the cult survived this devastating event, either because they weren't present at the compound when it happened, or because they defected during the event, as I feel most should have. All in all, it was horrific. During someone's autopsy, they found a tape recorder and this tape was in it. So have a listen if you want nightmares, because this happened right before hundreds died. If we can't live in peace, then let's die in peace. We've been so betrayed. All right, that's all of the creepy footage I have for you today. And how do you feel? I always feel a little bit off after watching a ton of scary things, so I recommend learning as much as you can to feel more prepared in the event of a dangerous thing. Uh, think critically about the world around you, or grab a cup of tea and chill out because you realize that death is inevitable. But nope, I'm gonna learn kickboxing and watch Miss Congeniality again to try to feel better. So goodbye, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Okay. So creepy. <laughs>